Alright, what's going on guys? Luca here with another PvP build for the Scrams of Fate patch. I'm our Magical Sorcerer and Maxos got a slight buff with a shield increase, but still I'm kinda bored of just uh, stacking Max Magica in this patch. That's why I'm using something different with Red Vitality for Stamina and Magica sustain. Definitely needed since I use Crushing Weapon as Stamina spammable and Vigor. And even the Magica region is always needed on Max Orcs. The shields are super expensive as you can see. 3.3k, 3.5k, Bound A's, 3.4k, so really expensive skills. Combined with Front Bar Way of Fire, when you do damage with a weapon you deal an additional 2k flame damage. This effect can occur once every 2 seconds. Then Death Eater's Feet for a ton of Magicka, Stamina and HP, a must have for every Magicka Sorcerer. One trainee for extra HP as fellow and Shudan as monster set. Like this we can D-slot, uh, Bound the Storm, the resistance buff. And I put critical search for it. Means we can use it twice the potions for the extra stamina region. Need to slot critical search on the back bar though. Otherwise we cannot proc the first effect of uh, Wretched Vitality. While in combat applying a major buff or debuff to attack grants you 260 magic and stamina recovery. Without critical research, not possible. That's why I have Vigor on the front by here. Looks weird, but don't worry about that. Armor types, one heavy chest, one medium shoulder. The rest 5 light armor with 5 impen and 2 well fitted, 1 sturdy on the shield, full arcane to increase our shield size, 1 magical recovery, 1 prismatic region and 1 spell damage glyph. Did some tests with full spell damage, sustain was terrible, so even with retro vitality we need sustain glyphs. Front burn the furnace stuff it sharpened with the flame damage enchant and back bar, powered sturdy with the escape is poison. Make sure to use the magical glyph here for the extra shield size and make sure to use prismatic on the big pieces, on the armor pieces and the rest max magical glyphs. Quick look on the skills, like I said Vigor on the front bar, Hunting Curse, Crushing Weapon as Spamber for Major Breach, Crystal Fragment, Streak as CC and Mobility, Greater Storm Atonark, Alternative go with power overload for more single target damage. I prefer the Greatest Storm Artonark, especially effective in one way situations. Back bar 2 shields, Damper Magic and Hardened Ward, which got a 10% uh, shield increase, if I remember correctly. Critical Surge for the major sorcery buff and extra healing. Bound Aegis for 8% max magic has slotted. And if we activate it, we gain even minor protection, 5% damage reduction for 20 seconds. Really powerful skill. Dark Conversion for Sustained Healing and Spare Wall as Defense Ultimate. Raise High Elf, best choice. Mundus the Mage for extra Magicka and the Twisted Food as Buff Food. At 3 points, everything into Magicka. Potions may need the Twisted Potions. Definitely need the Stamina Region. Against Night Blades, I still use Detection Potions though. CP Steady Aim, Mastered Arms, Iron Clad and the Sweet Buff. Red ones, the same for suffering, paints with you, chill master and bastion. Combination, start to pre-buff yourself always with critical search, followed by bound Aegis to proc both match vitality procs, then use dark conversion, keep it up for the minor prophecy buff, 6% spare crit, start with hunting curse, crushing weapon, fragment into streak. Enjoy the gameplay footage, that's it with the PvP build, thanks for watching, have a nice day, you hopefully in the next video, peace.
Yeah. <laughs>